So a big debate happening right now and through the weekend after a string of solid US data points. Is it a mistake to totally price out the Fed? This is not a an end to the cycle, to the rate hiking cycle. They are inclined to step back in. They'll have a chance. Growth will be better in the second quarter. The market completely pricing out any hikes for this year is a position that will be revised. I think the Fed would still like to get a hike in this year. We are going to see some more strength in the markets, and the Fed is going to respond to that. Can they get a hike in? I think that's right. They do want to get one or two more hikes in. And I think in June or September, you could you could get that. The higher probability that they get they get one more in than, than their next move's a cut. I completely agree. Everyone agrees with me. They're not done. <laughs> the Fed is, is kind of got two masters to serve. We think it'll yeah. ultimately choose inflation, therefore maybe back in second half of the year. Full house here in New York City. Joining me around the table is Mark Lehman, JMP Securities President, Steve Whiting, Citigroup, Private Bank Global Chief Investment Strategist, Peter Cicchini, Canna Fitzgerald, Chief Market Strategist, and rounding things out for us, Bloomberg's Lisa Abramovitz. Guys, great to have you with us. I should say, from the, from the off, nobody thinks one data point in the United States is going to change the story for the Federal Reserve. But, Lisa, you do wonder, relative to the very, very dovish pricing in financial markets, whether it's a mistake to totally price out the Fed for the rest of this cycle. It's really about inflation, though. And even though the headline jobs number was really good, inflation was not accelerating and actually came in under people's expectations. So from that perspective, it calls into question why the Fed is hiking when it seems like they have already tightened financial conditions, uh, you know, to, to a significant degree. So, yes, one data point, not enough. Uh, but even that one data point shows that inflation still isn't taking off. The prices paid element of the ISM as well on Friday, yeah. speaking to a similar story. Output great, price pressure subdued. Peter, your view? Yeah, no, I, I actually agree with Lisa and I also agree with Rick Reeder on the lead in that they do want to hike again because there's yep. not a lot of room right now to stimulate the economy if there's a recession. In the past two recessions, they've cut five and a half percent. Now we're at two and a half percent. At least one or two more hikes would be desired. However, if you look at break evens as well, two year, five year, 10 year, they've been collapsing, yes, because of oil, but Global financial conditions are a lot tighter. U.S. financial conditions are a lot tighter when you take when you take a look at real rates. Real rates are a lot higher than they were. What do you think, Mark? I think the same. I think the, the global growth is slowing and the U.S. growth is fine. And I think given the choice between um, raising rates and keeping them the way they are, I think the Fed's probably going to lean towards the latter. And that's probably going to be the anthem for the rest of the year. And I think we're going to be stuck in this band for some time. Steve? I think you've probably seen the last of the really strong employment reports. Uh, and I think the revisions that you saw are indicative of what we could see going forward. We've had nine rate hikes, quantitative tightening, the absence of a second round of tax cuts, uh, and these external issues are uh, material. The tightening of financial conditions that we just had over the fourth quarter tells you what is at stake, that there are risks to the expansion. That said, again, with a pause, with a chance to gather some strength, we can get back to tightening, but there's no immediate rush. You've got to assume the bar for pausing was a whole lot lower than the bar would be for resuming hiking. Well, yeah, again, resuming hiking, again, will come after confirmation, right, that the expansion, again, has some inflationary potential to it. 